morning folks well after a very early start this morning i didn't want to get out of bed at all uh welcome to an absolutely beautiful midwinter's day here in the brecon beacons it's been uh snowing up here for the last week or so and so today is the earliest day that i could get down here i think it's uh, going to start thawing today but uh, luckily i think i've just nipped in before all the snow disappears so um yeah we'll uh, crack on today walk up penny fan and see how we get on my name's john and i make videos on camping walking and astronomy if you like what you see in this video then please check my channel out as you may find others that interest you there but in the meantime let's crack on with this video so i've put my uh, micro spikes on the, I put them on quite early actually, the um, footpath's got quite a lot of compacted snow on it so um, right from the off really so I, I didn't really want to be slipping around and I've seen a couple of people stop and pull theirs on. Um, I have got a pair of like lightweight crampons if I need them uh, for a bit later on but hopefully I won't need them. I've also got an ice axe but I don't think I'm going to need that either. My uh, walking poles are likely to be much more, more useful. Definitely a good idea. Yeah. They make it much fun. easier. Yeah. And it's just gonna get worse, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely. I'm at Bambi on ice. Well I put mine on all the way down there. Yeah. So. Oh we should have done a boot. <laughs> yeah. So there's corn D up there. Looking pretty snow snowed up at the top. One of the depressing things about this route up Penny Van is um you've got a bit of a slog straight from the car park and then you have to drop downhill quite a long way only in order to um, have to make it up again straight afterwards to scramble along to the ridge leading up to Corndee and Penny Van. Any minute now and we should be getting a good uh, view with a bit of luck uh, down to where I camped a few weeks ago. So yeah, let's just press on a little bit. we've got to the ridge it's got uh, really cold and windy so um, I'm going to press on in a tick and that's the route up to Corn D and then along the ridge to Penny Van
So this is the summit of Corn D and uh, it's windy as you can tell and I uh, just got to press on to a penny van now just behind me. So that's it, we're uh, at the summit of Penny Van now. It's uh, not too windy up here. It was uh, windy earlier on, just uh, on the lower slopes of uh, Corn D, I reckon. But um, it's blinking freezing when you take your hands out of your gloves. So um, yeah, I'm gonna stop and get some lunch now. There's uh, a couple of army lads just in front of me. Looks like they've uh, spent the night camping up here with some sort of radio mast. So uh, they've had a pretty chilly night, I reckon. Anyhow, let's find somewhere to sit and have some, uh, some lunch. I've uh, realised that what I thought was a, a military checkpoint, <coughs> the way these guys have maybe spent the night out here, that's not actually the case. There's uh, a fan dance uh, event going on. I don't know whether it's a selection or, or what, um, but there's bods coming by, and um, I think it's a checkpoint. So, uh, yeah, it's a walk I'd like to do, but not in this sort of weather, and I'll be doing it in twice as long as it takes the SAS to do it in but um, yeah that's what that is but anyway I've had my lunch now it's absolutely freezing now I've just had my hands out my gloves to do this bit of filming for less than a minute and um, they're getting painful already so um, I'm gonna pack up and, and push off now I uh, probably won't do any more stuff to camera until I get back into the um, into the car now I think I'm not going to go back the way I came I'm going to go make a bit of a loop out of it and go down the kind of more heavily populated path but yeah I shall um, see you back in the car down the more common routes really slippery the paths all compacted snow and ice and people are trying to walk up and down it in wellies and trainers all sorts of things half of them are being forced onto the the hillside because they can't actually walk down the slope they're gonna have a bit of a shock when they get to the top so here we are safely back in the car um it's an absolutely cracking walk i really enjoyed it it's bitterly cold on the top though, the wind chill was uh, was incredible. Down here in the valley, it's not too bad, it's about two degrees at the moment at the road. Um, people going up in all sorts of stuff. I saw five or six people in shorts, loads of people in like mesh trainers, very few people had um, spikes on. They made a massive difference to the ability to go up and down. Um, one person went up in a onesie I saw people with wellies whilst I don't want to lecture anybody I think if I was a member of the local mountain rescue I'd be uh, somewhat cheesed off at the the sort of kit that people go up these mountains in in winter 
thinking just because it's not too bad where you park your car it's going to be quite nice all the way to the top but anyway that's enough moaning from me um yeah fantastic walk first time i've been out in proper snow for a couple of years so that was really really good so uh yeah on that front i'm going to um press off back home now a uh, long round trip for me today but it's well worth the 5 a.m start so yeah on that uh, on that note i shall uh, see you next time take care cheerio